All right, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to try something new. I don't think anyone has ever put a video like this on YouTube. This is going to be a, a call it a pilot, call it a, uh, an experiment, call it what you will. But today, guys, I'm going to try my very best to try and place an NFL player into each of the 15 positions on a rugby team. I'm just going to, I've literally, I haven't even looked at the top 100, I haven't looked at any players, I've just used my knowledge and what I know so far, and I've actually been able to, you know, basically select 15 players that I do believe would suit each and every single uh, position on a rugby team. Following this video, I am going to go in depth with some of the different positions and, and explain exactly why, but today, today guys, for any rugby fans out there that can, uh, follow this without me explaining too much here we go okay so this is my first ever uh, rugby team complete 15 aside rugby union team made up of current and past nfl players tried to do all current, in fact they are all current except for two players, um, they're going to be the two props at the front of the scrum. In rugby when you see the two, the two groups of forwards, the bigger guys, basically the linemen, um, going up against each other like this in a scrum. There's three guys at the front of each, each uh, scrum, one in the middle is called the hooker, funny name but it's basically because he hooks the ball back when, when the ball gets fed in. The two to his side have to be just as big, just as strong and just as mobile these days, but they're called the props. Okay, so the two props on the team, I've used past players, but every single other player is a current player. So here we go, from number one to number 15. Number one, left-hand side prop. We've got Larry Allen. Hooker, Aaron Donald. Other prop, Jerome Bettis, the bus. The two lock forwards, we have Travis Kelsey and Calais Campbell. The three loose forwards we have Luke Keekley. He'd be an absolutely brilliant flanker. JJ Watt, another absolutely brilliant flanker. In fact, he, you could put him anywhere in the forwards and he would be immense with his size. Uh, and Khalil Mack, number eight. So we've got Luke Keekley at number six, JJ Watt at number seven, and Khalil Mack at number eight. Number nine. We're going into the backs. Number nine needs to be a great passer. They need to be not too big, uh, but they need to be a fantastic passer to be able to read the play. And in that position, I've got Drew Brees. In the number 10 position, in the game of rugby, he would have to be able to tackle. He'd, be have, to, he'd have to be able to run. Uh, he'd have to be able to kick the ball. But that's just not the case in the NFL. So you know what? Number 10, the playmaker, we've got Tom Brady, the GOAT. We have to. We've got to get him in there somewhere. Then we go out to second 5 8, which is number 12. This guy is basically the, the, the meat and potatoes of the back line. And this guy is going to be Leonard Fournette, number 12. Number 13, outside of him, we need another player, another skilled position, another skilled back um, from the game of NFL. And, I, and the guy I've put on at number 13 is Saquon Barkley. So we've got the midfield combination of Leonard Fournette and Saquon Barkley. I mean, just imagining that in my head is just fucking exciting and uh, you know I'd love to see these guys actually suit up and have a game see what they could do on the left wing we have Julio Jones on the right wing we've got Odell Beckham Jr and at fullback my position and my favorite position to play we've got Christian McCaffrey so once again from 1 to 15 Larry Allen Aaron Donald Jerome Bettis, Travis Kelsey, Calais Campbell, Luke Keekley, JJ Watt, Khalil Mack, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Leonard Fournette, Saquon Barkley, Julio, Julio Jones, <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. and Christian McCaffrey. So that is, once and for all, my rugby team created from all NFL players. Now, in the next video, in the next few videos, I'm actually gonna use my whiteboards 
and uh, you know go a bit more in depth into this why I think that what the different positions in rugby actually have to do on the field and why I believe that these particular players would do so well basically you've got your three front rowers they need to be big but nowadays they need to be mobile too so that's why I've considered those three players I mean Jerome Bettis was a running back and as big as a prop you've got Aaron Donald who is you know could basically put him anywhere on the field he's absolutely insane uh, and uh, Larry and uh, Larry Allen I mean who can go past Larry Allen he bench presses 700 pounds I don't think anyone in the All Blacks can bench, bench press 700 pounds okay and he's got pace he's got a 4.85 second 40 yard dash are you joking me are you kidding in the lock forwards we've got we need tall players we need we need someone with you know at least six foot five six foot six um, of height but also mobile you know what I mean not not too slow and so we've got Clay Campbell at six foot eight three hundred and something pounds ridiculous Travis Kelsey uh, you know mobile tall enough and he would be an amazing lock forward For six through eight are the um, the loose forwards uh, the back row of the scrum when you're going like that we've got eight players on each side the backs are lined out the back just like your running back basically like a, a whole bunch of running backs out the back of the line um, that's that's how the backs are sort of you know formed um, so the three loose forwards we've got Luke Keekley would be an absolutely amazing flanker into everything can tackle can run can catch the ball uh, who else we got JJ Watt what, what is he six foot six foot seven six foot six three hundred pounds um, you put that guy in the forward pack I mean, this guy's nearly 140 kgs. Uh, yep, he's going to hold down that, that right-hand flanker side. And at the back, Khalil Mack. I mean, he can do everything. He can do everything. Drew Brees at number nine. We need a good passer. We need someone who's shifty. We need someone who can control the back line. That back line full of running backs, we need someone who can control that. Now, usually that would be Tom Brady, but we need him at number 10. So straight from the back of the scrum to the number 10, would be from Drew Brees to Tom Brady. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having both of those guys in the same team? It would be fucking insane. From there, we spin the ball out again to the inside center, Leonard Fournette. Needs to be a good combination of speed, strength, vision, skill, power, and I think he's got all of those. At number 13, I mean this, to see the passes, to see a pass go from, Sa go from uh, Leonard Fournette out to Saquon Barkley at pace would just be a sight to see. And then another pass from Saquon Barkley out to Odell Beckham Jr. running on pace. I mean, running at pace. I mean, uh, I put Odell, Odell Beckham out there because of his, his size and his speed, but also his hops and the fact that, I mean, if he needs to go up one-handed to catch a rugby ball, he most likely would catch it. And that's what happens out on the wing. Uh, you know, you can, you can have a kick out to the side, a winger will catch it, you can have a pass out to the side. Wingers need to be shifty, they need to be fast, they need to be onto it and they need to have great vision too. So uh, Odell Beckham Jr. on the right, Julio Jones on the left. We need, you know, one wing I've, I've had the more slight build, smaller build, fast. On the left wing, we've got Julio Jones. I mean, that's basically possibly the equivalent of, of like a Jonah Lomu. I mean, six foot three, 200 and, 240 pounds. I think he's 240. Uh, you know, we want a, a bigger style of, of wing on the left. I mean, it, it, you don't have to. A lot of teams don't have the the luxury of actually picking a guy at that size that can play on the wing but for this particular team we've got one smaller guy on the right a bigger guy on the left and at fullback <laughs> I mean we had to have a white guy right uh, I'm not even joking look um, Christian McCaffrey's I've always been a fan of his ever since I first reacted to him I've always thought he would do amazing in the game of rugby and at fullback spying gaps as a running back literally a running back could transition into the game of rugby into the position of fullback easily, I believe, and that's why I've picked a running back, especially at um, at fullback. You want to spy holes. Basically, you're going to be getting you're going to be getting little handoffs, backwards passes from your quarterback in the game of NFL, and you're going to be getting backwards passes on the on the burst, kind of like a toss play, all the time as a fullback in the game of rugby. So, if you've watched this whole entire video and you think that I've just talked a whole lot of gibberish let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you'd like for me to expand on my explanations 
using the whiteboard. It's something I haven't done before, but it's definitely something I'm interested in doing. And, um, you know, imagine, imagine, imagine getting these guys together for like an exhibition match, an exhibition rugby match or something, although that would never happen because the risk of injury is just too high. But, you know, the, the, all these players are absolutely amazing. Uh, they're some of my favorites. And like I said, I did not look at any list. This is all from my head. I just thought I put the 15 players, the 15 numbers down on the piece of paper, thought about it and thought, yeah, this is my team. This is my team of NFL players as a rugby team. And uh, it would be an amazing fucking team. I'll tell you that. We could go into reserves. You know, they have substitutions. They've got seven subs from, from numbers 16 to 22. Although they've got eight now, actually, from 16 to 23. So we could have an, another eight players who could replace these guys once they get tired on the field. But we didn't go into that today. We just finished it. Uh, with 1 to 15. So I hope you enjoyed. I have. <laughs> uh, you know, playing in the midfield, pl playing in the back line personally, I have played from 12 to 15, 12, 13, 14, 15, and also left wing as well. So, you know, uh, to think of a guy like Fournette in the, in the back line, to think of a guy like Barkley in the back line, to think of a guy like McCaffrey in the back line, I mean, it would work. It would absolutely work. But in saying that, there's definitely plenty of rugby players that could make the transition over to American football, I believe. And I will be getting into that. Don't think I won't. So with that being said, if you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business